Hey guys. So today I'm going to be doing a different type of video than you guys are usually used to on my channel. And that's going to be a movie night vlog. And in this movie vlog, I'm actually going to be watching two movies. Two movies that actually relate to each other in one way. The first movie I'm going to be watching is tonight. It's going to actually be Citizen Kane, which is a movie I have not seen before. Uh, I've been meaning to see it for years, because apparently it's considered, quote unquote, the greatest movie of all time. But I just never got around to seeing it. But I'm going to finally be watching it tonight, so really looking forward to that. And the second movie I'm going to be watching is actually going to be tomorrow night. And part of the reason why I'm finally getting to Citizen Kane, I'm actually going to be seeing Mank. Now you guys are probably wondering, but Mank doesn't come out for like another two weeks on Netflix. But, I'm actually seeing Mank in a theater. Not just any theater, but the theater I work at. Like, as, for those of you who don't know, I work at an indie movie theater. Which means that we get a lot of the Oscar nominated films, uh, independent films that theaters like AMC or Regal wouldn't get, and foreign films. And some of those films are films that are actually going to be on Netflix. We get them like weeks before they're supposed to be on Netflix, which is really cool. I actually saw Marriage Story two weeks before it came to Netflix, thanks to my feeder, for example. And I know we played The Irishman also weeks before it came to Netflix, and we actually got a lot of people for that. So, without further ado, let this movie night begin. Okay guys, so it's later at night, and I'm about to start watching Citizen Kane. Let's do this. Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, I did finish watching Citizen Kane last night, and yeah, really good movie. I could definitely understand why it was considered to be innovative of its time, especially with the story structure. Like, it's you wouldn't even think that that movie was made all the way back in 1941. Like, the way they structured the story in this film is was revolutionary for the time, and yeah, I can see why. I think the story structure is absolutely clever. Uh, I think Orson Welles gives a great performance as Charles Foster Kane. I can't wait to see him in more, in more of his movies. And also, like, I think the character of Charles Foster Kane, very, very interesting character, I must say. Like, especially the meaning of Rosebud. Like, if you guys have never seen the movie, then you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But basically what the plot of the movie is, is that Charles Foster Kane dies, and basically a reporter is trying to find, like, some juice to the story by finding out F Charles Foster Kane's last words, which was Rosebud, and he basically just tries to find the meaning of that of that movie, and it's of that of that word. What am I saying? <laughs> and it's it's very interesting, I must say. The final few minutes of the movie are especially especially brilliant. Like, I think it's one of the better movie endings I've seen in quite some time. Now, would I say it's the greatest movie ever made? Probably not, in my opinion, but that could change with rewatch. I definitely do see myself picking up the Blu-ray and liking it more upon rewatch. Anyway, so as I stated before, I'm also going to be seeing Mank, which is going to be tonight. So right now, uh, in about like an hour or two, I have to start working a shift on my fear. But after my shift, I'm going to go see Mank. Okay, so my shift has ended, and I'm now about to see Mank. Okay, so I finished watching Mank, well, not just now, but actually a few days ago. I've just, time just really got away from me these past few days, so. But anyways, I'm here now, telling you my thoughts about Mank, like, three, four days after I've seen it, and, um, yeah. I honestly didn't know what to make of it. Like, don't get me wrong, uh, Gary Oldman gave a really good performance, the cinematography was really good, I really, really liked the look of the film, but honestly, I feel like I really need to give it a rewatch. To, like, really gather up my thoughts on what I think of the film. I think a major part of the problem is that a lot of the dialogue in the film was, like, really, really fast-paced, which was hard to keep up with at times, and it definitely had a negative impact on my concentration while watching the films. So, when it comes to Netflix on December 4th, I'm definitely going to give it a rewatch of subtitles just so I can have, like, a better perspective on what's going on. And in turn, hopefully I'll able, be able to get a better perspective on what I truly thought of the film. Yeah, I apologize if my review for Mank is not, like, you know, 
not like well prepped or anything, but honestly, I feel like I need to, as I stated before, need to rewatch it to like fully get my thoughts together. But anyways, thank you all for watching this movie night vlog. Um, this is the first one I've done so far, and I hope to do more in the future. I know I have an idea to do another one. I already know the film I'm going to watch for that one. It actually has to do with one of the Criterions I bought this month. And uh, the third one is actually going to be suggested by, by you. You see, I was thinking about where I wanted to take these uh, movie night vlogs, and I decided, you know, it'd be really cool to have movie night vlogs on which the movie I watch are suggested by the viewers. I'll post a poll on Twitter, and I'll see if I can post a poll of some sort on YouTube as well for those who don't follow me on Twitter, which if you don't, then I highly recommend you do. It's basically like the best way to like communicate with me outside of YouTube. But anyways, thank you all for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Um, my fall semester is about to come to an end, so after that I'm going to have a lot more time to do videos. And uh, speaking of videos, stay tuned for a large monthly picks up. Sorry, a large monthly pickups video next week where I picked up a bunch of stuff, including 4K Steelbooks, Criterion's, Pixar films, all that good stuff. So be on the lookout for that. And I'm aware this is the third time I've said this in this video, but I really appreciate all of you for watching this video. Thank you so much. Um, Look out for more videos coming soon, as I just said, and uh, I hope you all have a happy and safe Thanksgiving. Bye.